So, you think you're a jealous person? Allow me to change your mind today. Happy Valentine's Day! If, like me, you're spending today alone at home, which given the state of the world, most people probably are, boy do I have a video for you. Today we're going to talk about jealousy, and I'm going to change your mind about it. No really, you'll go away from this video feeling a lot better about yourself, I promise. So whenever you're ready, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and now let's have a look at how we can turn jealousy into an asset. Hey guys, so before we dive into the video, I just quickly want to mention a couple of things. Number one, I now have channel memberships available. I've got two tiers at the moment. You have your moonbeams and your sunbeams. Your moonbeams for $2.99 a month um, in dollars. Um, you have access to the Patreon art and chill tutorials, which are like more than a half hour long at least. Um, most likely about 40 to 50 minutes long and um, it's kind of a deferred access so you you have it released to my Moonbeam channel members um, a lot later than it goes live on Patreon and uh, the Sunbeam which is an extra just one dollar every month so that comes up to a 3.99 per month um, my sunbeam channel members will get all of the video um, rewards that usually go up on patreon but again with that same delay just because i want to keep things fair for my patrons so um, if that's something you guys are interested in then make sure you hit that join button that should be right next to the subscribe button and um, it should give you instant access to all the rewards that i already have up and number two, I now have uh, my Discord server open to all of you guys. So if you'd like to join, there is a link in the video description. Um, come on there. We have memes, we have um, dog pictures, we have cat pictures, we have interesting conversation. I'll that's that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> so uh if you guys are on discord and if you want to join the community check that out below okay back to the video ah jealousy that green monster that comes out to play when we see our friends succeeding and getting married and having babies while you and i are at home eating a whole entire packet of oreos with chocolate cream scrolling through facebook considering the importance of dropping a like on becky's engagement announcement versus tapping in holding and dropping a love reaction instead. And if you ever observe that feeling, you know that jealousy feels dense and heavy and exhausting. But can we ever take jealousy and turn it into a productive sentiment? The key lies in rolling it back a little into a way less toxic sister emotion, envy. You see, evolutionary psychology suggests that there is a very distinctive difference between jealousy and envy. Envy is a wishful feeling. You see someone have something you want and you wish you could have that too. Jealousy is basically the same exact feeling, but here is where the difference lies. With envy, you recognize that while someone might have the same thing as you want, they probably worked hard to get it, and so they are deserving of having that thing. Jealousy, on the other hand, is when you believe that you are way more deserving of that thing than the other person is, and so you should have it instead of them. The point is that envy appreciates that your goal is attainable through dedicated effort, whereas jealousy assumes that your goal has been stolen by someone else, and so no matter how hard you try, you'll never attain it. So obviously, it is the other person's fault for taking it away from you, right? So, as you can clearly tell, one of these emotions comes from a place of abundance, while the other comes from, well, not abundance. 
Jealousy straight up assumes that there isn't enough happiness or money or success in the world for every single person to have at once. It leads you to believe that in order for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It makes you think that life is a zero sum game, that in order for you to be happy, someone else has to be sad and in order for you to be successful, someone else has to fail just to balance things out. And that, my friends, is a classic lack mentality thing. Because if someone else has to lose in order for you to win, the opposite of that would also be true, right? If someone else is winning, that would mean that you are losing. But ask yourself, if that was truly the case, how could there possibly be so many people who are genuinely happy? Or on the flip side, why are there so many more people who are genuinely unhappy? If everything is supposed to be evenly balanced, why is the majority of our population so deeply unsatisfied with life? If it was all about a zero-sum game, wouldn't there have to be an equal number of super happy, super successful people in the world? So maybe, just maybe, the whole balance theory is complete fiction created to make you feel like you're always lacking something. And maybe that is a predatory tactic used by corporations to try and sell you happiness in the form of consumer goods. I digress, but the point is that jealousy as a concept comes from a mindset of there isn't enough to go around. Envy, on the other hand, is one of my absolute favorite emotions because envy, my guy, comes from a place of abundance. Look, I know it sounds like a contradiction, but hear me out. Envy is the feeling of, oh wow, she just bought a Ferrari. Damn, I'd like to have a Ferrari too. Maybe I should ask her how she did it. And that's the big phrase here is, I would love to have that too. That very sentiment implies that there is enough Ferraris to go around because you live in a world where both you and the other person could own your own Ferraris. Plus, Envy asks you to look at ways in which you can grow and improve your life and your habits in order to reach that very same goal. Envy isn't about snatching away what someone else has so that you can have it. That's jealousy. Envy will make you want a copy of what someone else has because you know good and well that they deserve it just as much as you do. So you see, envy is a much more expansive emotion. It makes you want to be better at what you do so you can also have similar things as the people that you idolize have. Envy knows there is more than enough abundance in the world and there is plenty of happiness and success for every single person who is seeking it. And instead of blaming the happy people for our own problems and further increasing the gap between us and them, Envy makes us want to join their league in a way that is productive and helpful for everyone that's involved in the process. As an artist, envy is something you will most certainly face pretty much every other day, especially thanks to social media. Bro, when I hop on Instagram and look at the Insta feeds of people like Ross Tran or Angel Ganev or Blue Satan, it makes me want to cry. Envy is completely natural and it is, in fact, necessary for us to feel envious about how well other people are doing. All it means is that we want to be better. And that is a basic human right, the pursuit of happiness, right? Without envy, you wouldn't even feel the need to chase after your dreams. Hell, you wouldn't even have any dreams to begin with. So today, while you see all these loved up couples having cute Netflix and chocolate fondue dates at home and you feel envious about it, I want you to be grateful for that feeling. Why? Because without it, one, you wouldn't even know you were feeling lonely, but two, there would be nothing motivating you to get out of that loneliness. It is completely natural to feel envy, but always remember you have complete control over whether that envy is allowed to turn into jealousy. When you look at those happy couples and that makes you want a partner too, 
that is envy however when you want that specific couple to break up and then you get to have that specific partner that is where jealousy comes in and trust me that is not the partner you want in your life is it absolutely necessary that in order for you to be happy someone else must also be sad if so sorry to be the bringer of truth but that is a poverty mindset look no judgment like i've said a million times on older videos on this channel i only share things that i learn through experience hell that's the only reason i'm making this video is because i literally just had this mental shift this last weekend you see i genuinely thought of myself as a jealous person because when i saw someone else achieving the goals i wanted to achieve it would create a pang of wishfulness in my own heart However, because it's been drilled into our heads that it is wrong to feel jealous and because no one really tells you the distinction between jealousy and envy, I always judge myself for wanting those things. Subconsciously, I was straight up telling myself that it is not okay to want the same things as someone else already has because that made me a terrible, immature, insecure person. But as it turns out, that wasn't a feeling of jealousy, it was a feeling of envy. I never wanted someone to lose something in order for me to gain it, and I'm sure that is how you feel about your goals too. But in labeling that as jealousy, we're all collectively robbing ourselves of the opportunity to be better, stronger, and happier. I realized that in my bid to not be a quote, jealous person, I was refusing to allow myself to want bigger and better things and that looking back has honestly kept me stuck in so many situations that I had so severely outgrown. So today I want you to ask yourself, are you really jealous of what someone else has or are you simply envious of it? And if you are envious, what do you think that person did in order to achieve that? It really doesn't have to be super complicated or magical or mysterious. You can totally just go up and ask them how they did it. Chances are they are more than happy to share how they got there because clearly if they already have that success, they live in an abundant world to begin with and have no problem sharing that abundance with the rest of us. I don't know man, this video just kind of wanted to be born today because I feel like there is someone out there who really needs to hear this. You are not a bad person for wanting things. You are not a jealous person for wanting a life that would make you happy. That is literally the entire reason why we are here in this world. So quit judging yourself for wanting the things that you want and start putting together a plan on how you're going to go get them and then go out there and do it. This is just one of those videos that didn't let me sleep too well until I got it out into the world. I'm sure anyone who's created something probably knows this feeling. So whoever you are, whoever this video is meant for, I hope it found you and I hope it helped. As always, if you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then please remember to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss another upload on this channel. If you want to say hi, come join the community discord server. I've now made some of the channels available to everyone uh, so that includes you guys my youtube subscribers so check out that link below come say hi we love a good meme on there so bring your best and with all of that said thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have check out some more videos up here and i'll see you guys on the next one bye